Freedom. Today I wanted to talk to you about George. That's right, George recently here in the office held what we call a town hall meeting. This town hall meeting was to discuss the company as it was, the, the, the past, as it is, the present, and as it will be in the future. As a lot of you know, the ones who have been around for a while, Freedom is in a constant state of flux because we are constantly evolving and adapting to the YouTube meta, social media in general, and of course, the needs and wants of our users. And because our users are our partners, we make sure to cater to you as much as possible. So as you can see behind me, George spoke to all of the local Philippine staff, as well as all of the, what you call expats, here in the Philippines. And he was talking about a lot of very interesting stuff, most of which he's talked about before. But let me give you a few bullet points. He spoke about the investments that we are trying to get as Freedom and what we will do, how we will spend that money, and also what we have to do to prove to investors that we are worth it. We've been speaking to these guys for the past four months. They have been uh, doing their, what they call due diligence, which simply means we needed to prove everything about freedom, that we have a good business model, we're growing, we're going to be this mega company in five years, and convince them that we're worth putting money into now because it'll be worth 10 times in five years. One of the key takeaways from this is that when you ask for money from a venture capitalist, such as what we've done, you have to show that you can increase your value from what it is to, you know, five times as much, 10 times as much, 15 times as much in a certain amount of time. And Freedom has a pretty good track record of growing its, its revenue, growing its value to not only itself, but its partners. That's, that's you. you. That was creepy. That was, I shouldn't have done that. That whole, that's you. Wow. In addition to that, he also was speaking about how our products going forward are going to impact our partners, as well as, of course, things like company bottom line, etc., etc., because it was relevant because of the investment bit that we have in currently. So one idea is we should make a game. We should make a, like a, you know how Farmville or Clash of Clans works? You start with a little town and you build it up. There's always delays in production, and then you can fight other players. Well, the same concept, but let's do it in a YouTube environment. Like, you're starting your YouTube video empire, and you have got your first channel. You have to, like, add subscribers, like, building a town hall, like, building your channel. And you can take a lot of the elements of Clash of Clans, put it into the YouTube world, and the things you do in the game may also help your channel. Like, you can say, Okay, to get to the next level, you have to spend 10 hours, but you can have that time if you watch three videos or something like that. One of the awesome things about what he was discussing is the math of it, actually. If we, as Freedom, help every 10 subscriber channel become a 500 subscriber channel, every 500 subscriber channel become a 1500 subscriber channel, and just Small movements up makes us look very good as an investor because we can do that, which is one of the reasons why we have refocused things like position music. Some of you in the past may have seen that you had some problems with position music. However, there's an entirely new system in place so you will not lose any revenue due to claims. And I know that some of you recently may have had some issues that's dealing with the transition. The current system should have no issues whatsoever, and that's um, from like today on. We're also working on getting our creators, the small, medium, and large ones, a bigger leg up. Of course, things like this take time, understanding on the part of not only the partner, but uh, the companies working with the partners. This is not a slow process, but it's one that we are committed to doing. As some of you may be aware, Freedom, or our parent company, NETV, got its start with recommendation revenue. Um, this is kind of like where you see people at the end of videos going, you know, check out audible.com, where you can blah, 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 blah. That's recommendation revenue. And it's something that we may be looking into in the coming months to be able to help our partners, you know, increase their bottom line, work with more companies, and diversify their content styles in a way that's true to their audience. 
Before I go, I'd like to ask, do you have any ideas about how freedom might be able to make itself look more attractive to investors, but also doing so in a way that helps the partner grow? That's the entire basis of freedom. That's what we've always done. So being able to hear the statistics about how doing that will help investors, that just strengthens my resolve to want to help partners grow. So give me a few sentences below about how you think we can help you grow. Now, try to stay as close to reality as possible. There are things that we can and can't do, but I'm interested in what you have to say. Anyways, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye, Freedom Family. Thank you for watching another Freedom video. If you'd like to watch another one, click over there. If you'd like to subscribe, click over there. Or if you'd like to make fun of us on Twitter, go ahead, click the link in the description and make fun of us. You know you want to. Wait a minute, I've got it. Let's create an app that rewarms your french fries. Let me get McDonald's on the phone.